Hi, baby angels. It's Bibi. Welcome back or welcome if you're new. Um, today I am responding to a tag by Sylvain's Deadly Sins called Seven Decks for, for Deadly Sins. This is an older tag and I'm a newer tarot tuber, so I'm catching up, I guess. So let's get into it. The first deadly sin is pride a deck that you purchased or use for flexing um I don't know if my answer to this is that like I don't purchase anything for flexing because I just purchase it because I love it or if I purchase everything for flexing because I'm the kind of person where when I love something I want to share it with everyone so or at least show it to everyone <laughs> and not because it's I'm trying to be impressive it's that the thing is so cool and I love it and I want them to see how cool it is and love it you know like it's not like a flex it's more um sharing it's more celebrating something wonderful that make that brings me joy and so I'm hoping that by sharing it with someone else it brings them joy too I get very excited about the things I like and I um I guess want other people to be excited about them too <laughs> um so a deck that I do feel like is a flex regardless is um the mysteries of the black madonna I have shown this before. I mean, I have done um, a collection playlist, so you've seen it in my collection. But here it is in all its glory. I think that it's partially a flex because there aren't very many out in the world. It's unique. You can see all of the hard work, creativity, love, and honestly time that has gone into all of these cards. I don't know, if any deck is a flex, it feels like this is, this is the epitome. Like just the time, not just the time it makes to or takes to make these, but the time it took to acquire all of these wonderful little trinkets and toys and knickknacks and miniatures. It's a stunning, odd, captivating, spiritual deck. So this would be my pride. The next is greed, a deck that you don't share with anyone or you only use for yourself. Um, I, don't, I don't intentionally not use this for other people. It's the Abyssal Tarot, but I really don't read with it for other people. I do just keep it for me. It's not that I wouldn't. I just tend to not reach for it when I'm doing readings. I think someone would have to ask me specifically for a very like emotional reading. It's so good. It's so good. Nudity warning. So that would be my greed. <laughs> Let's see. Wrath, a duck that I'm angry at. This is a deck that I love. It's the Tarot of the Silicon Dawn. And I'm so mad at it. Or maybe I'm mad at Los Garabeo. This is a Los Garabeo deck. Yeah. Because it's such an amazing deck. 
but it's so small. And the cardstock is crappy. It has these really cool, hold on, I'll find one that has a better one. Do you see like the embossing on it? I've shown it before. And that's on most of the decks and, or I'm sorry, most of the cards. And they create their own images. It's such a cool deck. Yeah, okay, so this one is an example. Like it has constellations and bubbles. I don't know if you can see it. And then the book, let's see if the book, I don't, I, I rarely use this deck and I hate myself for that, but this is why, because th this is a deck that has so many extra cards. I know I've shown this before, but like this is kind of a key, but it needs to be bigger. <laughs> um, there are four fools and there are extra, like there's a 99 and like an extra queen, king. I don't know what this C is. Like, is it child, princess? I don't know. But there's, and then there's all these extras. So I just feel like they're not easy to find in the book. There aren't pictures of the cards in the book. So you kind of have to use that little tiny key first to, to line up the, the image with, you know, the number of whatever card it is. It's just not easy. I also don't love the backs. Okay, so let's look at the Ten of Cups and see. Yeah, okay, so the book does a really, really good job of explaining, like, describing the cards. Where are the cups? Here we go. Yeah, so, okay, so the Ten of Cups is here. And for this card, it says... The water of life held in the hands of three strange feminine creatures that fly between the planets, out perhaps into the void. Was that machine mermaid built that way or born a human? Is that octogirl a thing of flesh or a rippling pool of water held in place by twisting forced fields? Honoring the forms of the ocean they left far behind, they reach for the stars, bringing life and merriment to whatever corners it may find. And then it explains the um, the embossed parts too, like the constellation. It says, looming in the sky behind them are Mars and Pisces. Old Mars, the desert dreams of Barsoom. I don't know what that is. Blown away in the dust. And the knowledge of Viking, the knowledge Viking brought us. There may have been a golden age of water there with life blooming wildly. And perhaps there will be again if our dreams of terraforming become reality. But the hope of water lies in the patterns we find in the stars. Dream of the sky and dream of the future. Bring it to what glee and joy you may. Keep the party rolling. Don't let the lights go out. Fizz and effervesce with delight until you run out of power somewhere alone and strange and cold. And who knows, someone might still pick you up and get you running again. Or wonder at the readout of your memories make them as long and complicated as you can more prosaically if this card is inverted stay away from the sushi tonight <laughs> i can't tell if this card has been in focus at all this whole time so i'm so sorry um but it's it's a really amazing amazing deck i just wish that it had the quality that it deserved so i'm mad this is my wrath deck check it out it's um the tarot of the silicon dawn by E oh the book is by Margaret Trouth and the but it says it's by Egypt Ernash maybe that's the artist let me know if you have that deck how you use it and like what your experiences are I never see it online I've seen it very rarely and I'd love to know more about it and love to know more about people's practices with it all right envy a deck I wanted because other people had Okay, so this is another one where 
Um, I don't think I currently own any decks that I purely wanted because someone else had. Um, I think any of those I probably have gotten rid of at this point. But this Yonase Yaos tarot deck is one that I saw other people have in different... I never do them like straight. I'm so sorry. Um, I had I saw people had these in, in different versions, right? And I just thought it was so incredible. The color palette was so amazing. I loved the imagery. I loved the line work. I loved the size. I loved the writing. Everything. These symbols, like the crosses. I just... It sang to me. And so this was, this was an envious purchase, but it was not a regretful one. It has a soul, it has romance, it has like this weird mix of modern and like, I mean, I see, I follow artists who do tattoos that look like this. You're like, that's great, BB. I don't care. But I care. And that's why you're here. <laughs> it's so, oh, I love it so much. I don't use this deck enough. I think I need to do like a practice with this deck. The only thing I regret about this deck is that I don't have a guidebook for it. I think, I think she might have made like a digital guidebook for it later on. I really need to check that out because... I don't have anything and I would love to know what was in her mind and what the meanings are to her, you know, like I don't want to have to read this with just Marseille or RWS meanings. Magic, a magical modern medieval, Ugh, one of the best hierophants ever. I feel like I'm going to have to do, um, my favorite majors and that might be in there so that was envy lust is a deck that I like for aesthetic reasons I like most of my decks for aesthetic reasons but this is a, a recent lust for me the Teles Matero by Tara Cochran or Tara Cochran if you know let me know I keep my goodies in here too I got this um, chariot sticker. Oh, I need to put it actually. I think I'm gonna put it on my computer because it's like so cool. This deck couldn't have come, I don't know, at a better time for me. This is such a fiery, wonderful, it's like almost unconscious. So many of these images feel very natural and right to me. It like quiets my mind. I don't have, you know, like I don't, I don't have that much to say about it. It's, ugh, I can't. <laughs> I wouldn't call it a perfect deck. I don't think I have a perfect deck, but I think that this is gorgeous. I think it's very on brand. <laughs> and even just like, look at this color scheme. It's so inspiring and there's so much to, there's so much to see, but not in an overwhelming way for me. I don't know. I think it's really psychedelic and retro in a way that really appeals to me. So it's also like great quality. You know, it's an indie deck, which I love. So it always has, you know, or not always. Um, indie decks usually have such a wonderful feel. It feels luscious. It like whets my appetite. It 
it's yeah like it, I just feel like what's the word when something like a, it's like sumptuous you know <laughs> that's how this deck feels and I love it so that's my lust my gluttony is a deck I didn't really need but I purchased anyway and I feel like I could say that about most if not all of my decks because what do I really need um but I'm gonna go with a recent purchase of mine the wild goddess oracle I don't typically work with goddess energy and I don't typically dig the aesthetics of most goddess decks but this little guy this little guy I'm just a little guy um does this book come out? Oh yeah, it does. Like maybe I shouldn't be keeping it in this huge box. I kinda like the little the little box better. This was one that I saw on another channel and I would name drop it if I remembered, but I don't. And loved it it's so different but so in line with what i'm drawn to it has great representation and i feel like it has great versatility so did i need it no did i want it yes am i happy with it absolutely and it has a mermaid like a really nice one too like what else can I ask for I love this artist there's another painting of theirs that I really really want for my living room it's a really popular one I think it's um I think it's called woman in a blue dress or something But who knows, like maybe this will kickstart some more goddess work. Some I say some more as if there's any. There's none, but kickstart some goddess work in general. I should start doing daily pulls with this. Ugh, so good. So that's my gluttony. And then our last deadly sin is Sloth, a deck I use when I'm feeling lazy. So I guess a deck that I would use when feeling lazy would be something that's RWS based. So I don't really have to do much divining. I could just clearly read things and also fully illustrated. And I'd have to say... I surprised myself with this choice, but my Tarot of the Pagan Cats, that's what this is, right? Yes, Tarot of Pagan Cats, is so delicious in every way. The art style, the medium, the fact that it's cats, the fact that these cats are so cute. like ugh. it's so good it's so rich this is a delectable little treat of a deck and I love it I love its energy I love its aesthetics and I I love it I love this art so much but I would never have anything like this in my home but a, a tarot deck is like the perfect place to have it because they're little keepsakes. Every single one of these is like a little keepsake and I can just lay the cards out on the table and know exactly what I'm looking at. Feel comforted. And like... Cats are lazy, right? <laughs> like, what a perfect deck to feel lazy over. Like, I'm 
feeling cat-like today. I feel like a nap. Maybe I'll use the tarot of pagan cats. So yeah, I don't know. This is a very short video. Seven decks. Not a lot of not a lot of hard thinking there. Just stuff that makes sense. I hope you enjoyed my tiny little video and my weird little decks. And um, let me know if you enjoyed any of my choices or if any of them aligned with your choices. I want to thank you for being here. Thank you for being curious. Thanks for being my friend. And you know what they say. Can you say it with me? <laughs> my mom's coming, I gotta go.